And welcome back, guys. Uh, so here we are, uh, the third qualifier for tomorrow's Worlds, uh, well, Road to the Worlds, Canadian Nationals. Uh, and we have round one of the third match, which is the second constructed event of the day. And we have a doozy for you. Wow, do we have an event for y'all. Uh, there it is. So, let's, let's do the simple one first. So, so first we have Jay again. Jay is doing the same team. If you've been watching the stream, it's uh, the Rocket Recruit, Banshee, uh, 204 City, 204 Central City Police, the Power Plant. Go ahead with the rings. Cerise. Oh, and uh, Cerise. Yep. Power Plant has the Impact Beam, Vortex Beam, Ice Beam, Ice Blast, Black Light, Electro Blast, and Disintegration Beam. And now, <laughs> but as, just... as you can see on the board, that is, that is not the point, though. We're, we're, that is not probably not the reason why this was selected. What we have... It's a Brainiac ship <laughs> with the Batcave assigned to it. And yes, there are people taking pictures of this team. <laughs> so, uh, this team, uh, for those who want to know the details, uh, so the Brainiac Skull ship is at 200 points, uh, and it comes with yeah, the Batcave. So somehow the ship has the utility belt with a Batman cowl, bat two batarangs, two flash grenades, gas uh, bullets, smoke uh, grenades, and Alfred. So it comes up to 300 points and uh, 300 points. So a 300 point total matchup. So that's the full? Uh, for radio? Sorry guys, uh, it, it, because the dial is so new, it, it hasn't been entered in Asia Realm, so I'm actually running off the preview from the HeroClix.com site yep. to, uh, to keep this in mind. Yeah, I'm also uh, going to have to change the... Yeah, we wanted to come up here. with a, uh, a neat name for this, so we're going to call it the, uh, the, the, Brainy, the Brainy Cave. The Brainy Cave? Yep. Oh. There should be Freaky in the Brain references. Can, can we do that Throw, throughout the match? Thinking uh, in the brain sure. references? City markers? I don't understand, Gio. Clarify? Oh, no city. He said no city. Is that a brainiac thing? Yeah, brainiac thing. No city. Oh, okay. Well, that's why we work in par partners. Only one of us has to understand. I'll be completely honest, I didn't get a chance to take a really good look at this year's conventions. Yeah. Other than Felix Faust, which I'm told was a really good thing that I paying attention to. So, it's Jay with Rocket and Banshee, and Sharif from Sudbury! Sudbury represent! Uh, That's not a thing. Shh. I like... I'm, I'm happy. I like... Uh, come on, I never get anyone from Sudbury out here. Play the nickel price. <laughs> well, I was explaining that earlier, the, uh, the Game of Thrones. The, uh, the, the, we pay the iron price. So. so this is going to be a rules-heavy affair. Yeah. So uh, I, ideally, the players would have lots of time to practice with things and be awfully familiar with everything. And the judges would be super familiar and have done all the research. But because it's so new, I... We will try our best. All, everyone involved will try the best. All the best will be tried. All of them. Okay, so, talk about all the yeah, Brainiac try. ship has just moved in. Uh, as you can tell, there's numerous levels of elevation here, which I think is why uh, Jay chose the map. Jay was the one who won the roll. Uh, it doesn't really affect Brainiac's ship all that much because he can go through the elevation, but it does give uh, Jay a whole lot of places to hide. Um, and uh, the Brainiac ship, I mean, that's a, the problem when you play any Colossal. You basically can't hide the Colossal. Um, but it's a really giant target. So uh, it, it's a nasty, nasty doll. I don't know if you've seen it yet. Uh, but uh, it should be a lot of fun. Um, so the Brainiac ship... Uh, yes, uh, so to answer the question, Brainiac can occupy multiple elevations. Uh, that the colossal that doesn't affect the colossal whatsoever. Uh, using smoke cloud with a free action. Uh, <laughs> so we are getting. Sorry, so we're getting the smoke cloud put out here. 
uh, under Jay's team, which is being hidden by the little real clicks Road to Worlds thing. So uh, the question is being asked uh, is, can the Colossal occupy multiple elevations? I have answered it. And uh, no, uh, yes, it can. It can op- it's a Colossal no object. The elevations are no object, except for the fact that, of course, it does block line of fire in certain instances. Uh, and especially in this map. This is a good map for a J in this situation. Uh, I'm sure that the Brainiac ship would have wanted something where no one can hide. Uh, so this also gives the opportunity that every time it goes to the Brainiac ship's team, we can say, meanwhile, at the Legion of Doom. <laughs> Which I will do at nauseum. Yeah, probably not on air, but when when it is played locally. So we have the back cave being clicked. Uh, I moved back into position. I'm guessing it was the uh, the bat, the utility belt that was being clicked. Uh, so uh, looks like I have princesses. Yeah. Um, your, is, that's yours is plugged into the... Yes, yes. Do you need it right now? Yes. Low battery? Yes. Can't find a USB port. Oh, yeah, actually, you know what? I'm, uh, I'm at 45. What's that? So, sorry, we have one of our judges who needs to plug in right in front of us. Uh, the Brainiac ship is moving backwards, gaining that second token. I believe it has quintessence. Does it have quintessence? Yes. Yeah, so it should, it's no effect, no problem. <laughs> and tentacles. And tentacles, yes, numerous tentacles. Uh, Electro Blast Ring is being used by uh, Mr. J. I do not know. Oh, it looks like... Oh, it's plugged into iTunes starting. No, no, just... Uh, just cancel all that. Sorry, uh, the judge's phone has launched iTunes. Proprietary software. Um, which is temporary blocked our view. Oh, so it looks like Cerise is flying and carrying uh, one of those characters. You won't shut down. Mm-hmm. You quit? There you go. There you go. Okay. Uh, and Banshee is carrying the other... Yeah, so Banshee is carrying the central the, the police officer and Cerise is carrying Rocket and hiding behind that lovely uh, hinder train there. Looks like our stream just froze. I'll be right back. Okay. Jim Frozen. I'm going to go. Oh, yes. Sorry, guys. The camera just uh, was having a senior moment. It was... Uh, I mean, you see, I work for a senior organization. That's not... That's probably pretty accurate. Um, so. Yeah, it, it's just a moment, and now we're back to perfect, perfect coherency. What, what's the issue? <laughs> I think it was just overloaded by the awesomeness of the Brainiac ship and uh, the back cave. I still can't believe it. Um, so how do you think this happened? That Brainiac just took over the back cave? That's essentially it? I believe in the bowels... You know what this reminds me of? The beginning of Lego Batman 3. <laughs> I believe in the bowels of fan fiction somewhere. This <laughs> Brainiac was sent to Earth and adopted by the Kents. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> and that, that's the explanation for what it is. Good. All right, so we still have people. There, there have been no attacks yet. Just positioning, repositioning. Uh, yeah, uh, there's ro robotic arthropods yeah. uh, taking over the back game. <laughs> <laughs> to answer, folks, yes, the Brainiac ship has been assigned a bat cave. Yep. And I'm not sure if, if it's going to make for a uh, very good uh, game, but it is fun to look at. It is really interesting. Um, hey, bro, I'm trying to get that card and let's bounce. Guys. Thanks. <laughs> Alright, I believe that was a roll again for the utility belt. <laughs> Here, Jay. <laughs> so Jay asked his opponent, so what am I not allowed to use this time? <laughs> If this wins, I think we're gonna. I think this place is gonna go wild, and they're gonna sell a whole bunch of brainiac ships. <laughs> well, it's funny. I I, uh, I had a couple seconds to talk to Jay. Like as, as we've joked uh, throughout the whole day, Jay, Jay and I actually do talk quite a bit while he's here, uh, off and on, even when it's not uh, on on mic, I guess, because yeah. we're not on camera. But uh, I was asking, do, do you think we'll see any of the convention stuff tomorrow? Yeah. And specifically, I asked about Faust. But, uh, we're gonna get shit. Hey, you know what? I did it last year. I, I put up, I, I got the dupe, played it right away. Sometimes you just want to play those new pieces. Yeah, but dupe's a world breaker. <laughs> <laughs> this is a brainiac. Yeah. Chip. It's interesting. Well, I mean, I'm interested to see. Really cool. I, I wish I could uh, provide intelligent uh, commentary on the Brainiac ship, but honestly, I'm not entirely sure what we're, what we're going to get out of it. Well, so far, all we've pretty much gotten is just positioning, repositioning, positioning, repositioning. The, the good uh, news is I'm really familiar with Jay's team. <laughs> That's good. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's, it's probably just, it's just pushing through that, that uh, utility belt. Uh, I'm guessing trying to get to the prep time to the uh, plus two. Is this why I blanked out the, the back cave? Is that what you beat me for? Is that the one you beat me? Yeah. That's why I was trying to figure out why I, that's the one colossal I don't have. Uh, that was uh, right, right. Uh, so I was convinced I was about to lose to to, uh, to my co presenter. I had uh, Error Wet, and you had Superboy, and you had Hypersonic, and I was like, well, I can't get to you, and you have an involved ability, and only have two damage. And you came in and critical missed. Lost your Hypersonic, lost your invulnerability, and I was able to okay, take so you out. I, I, I found a way to, to comment on this. Uh, the, this is pretty good. If you've been watching this game, or if you're watching this on YouTube later, and you've already seen uh, Jay's first game, where we saw his team, he came up against the Iron Legion earlier today. It was five Iron Legions, Split Lip, and Old Skulls. And with the benefit to Jay there was that Jay was able to pop small figures at a time and do damage. And that shouldn't be the issue, but there won't be a popping of a Brainiac ship going on. So the, now the, the reverse side of Banshee coming out is that if you're able to do six damage, Banshee's now one shot away. True. Depending on the situation. And I want to say that that is an option depending on what's going on. Yes. It depends on the, uh, the four damage. I don't think there's a six damage. Is there? Four. There's range combat extra close on I'm assuming the back cave gives everything. Right. Because it has a bat logo on it. Right. Okay. So Seven. perplexed. So yeah, it's it's a, it's not in outside the range. Of Right back. I'm going to try to see if I can find someone to help us out a bit here so we can uh, know a bit more about what's going on. With past references, again, typically we've had, um, I guess, almost a, a, a translator position where they're watching the game, telling us the things that we can't and your, yourselves can't quite identify just by watching the video. 
by themselves. So we've had a little bit more of the, the commentary going on, telling us what what the exact actions are going on. Just makes the game a little bit follow, easier to follow for us and, and for us to relay it to you. Oh. Not that, not that matters. We're tilted a little bit. All right. So we have uh, Mr. Frank, uh, who is the uh, undead, undead bullseye. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yep. Also on the realms. A local player. Uh, so he'll be listening in and helping us out a bit. But so far, it looks like uh, just a bit of positioning, rethinking, trying to figure out what's gonna, what they're going to do. So the smoke cloud goes away. It's 100 points. It is 100 points. Well, the back cave. I mean, like it can. It's got so many different things it can do, uh, and especially with the utility belt there, with Alfred there. Can't beat Superman in a movie. Yeah. Uh, oh. Oh God. Yes. <laughs> oh, Jay, Jay's just excited for some reason. Rocket Raccoon's hitting oh, 11 on 19. Rocket's getting a shot. Annoying the Elevids. Elevid. Oh, that should be a hit. But he has Invincible. So it should be two. Yeah, so he's taking so two. So the group, uh, Rocket was doing four. The defense power was invincible. Two clicks you're being get, getting to. Did you say you have the dial? No, I had a shiver. Uh, smoke cloud, again. Thank you. Oh. I saw. <laughs> it's like a museum display on that table. Yeah, but said, uh, yeah, Kenny, Kenny just popped in and he's like, it's like a museum on the table. <laughs> it's great. It's so much bigger. It's great. I love it. Uh, rolling again for... Frank, was that a roll for the resource? Roll for the resource? That's what he did. Maps going in here. This is unreal. Map is an issue. <laughs> As you'll notice, the map's being moved around a little bit. Yeah. So do you think that uh, you could give the bed cave sidestep? <laughs> uh, phasing. Anybody for Spider-Verse? You should give it a boom tube. You hmm? should give it a boom tube. <laughs> oh! Oh! Damn. Oh, hey, there's a Brainiac ship in your face. New sponsor for Speed Racer. <laughs> what? You never seen that robot chicken? No. Where he gets a, a new sponsor from Tentacle Break? And that is an obscure reference, sir. I robot chicken is never obscure. I, GL, can you can you back me up on this? That robot chicken always makes reference. <laughs> that they are always couple. <laughs> I, I think you're good people, GL. Prove me right. All right. So smoke clouds goes down. So, because they're all up in the grill, does Cerise maybe go close combat? She might, but she's got that PD, right? Uh, so, looks like she's going to be... Oh, leadership first? And the Empower? Uh, oh. But you know what? You are... Uh, he is within range of Banshee, so yeah. it's, it's going to get loud. Yeah. Yeah, we are going with the Empower. That was right. Not, not that it was hard. It, it, it offered advantages this turn. Yeah. Oh, we might be going for the disintegration beam. I was able to pull this off last year. It was very, very lucky. Basically, you need to roll well, it. What was it you higher. destroyed? Uh, battery? Uh, no, I was playing a, uh, a Phoenix Force on uh, Bizarro. Right. 
and uh, oh no, GL missed that. But we're good with the uh, robot chicken references, though, right? They're always acceptable. Even if you haven't caught that specific episode, yes. I, those, I feel like I'm going to win this. Yeah. To those uh, listening on YouTube later, uh, having conversations with people on, on, on Twitch, on the Twitch. <laughs> GL Stocky, who I, I who I firmly believe is good people. He he may have pulled the wool over my eyes, but I'm, I choose to believe it. <laughs> Psychic class. Yes. Yeah, All right. Good job. Oh, eight. Four penetrating right straight through. Yeah. So he's showing impervious right now, and it's four straight through. Was he showing impervious, or was he showing in... I overheard you're showing impervious, so okay. I'm assuming he's showing impervious. <laughs> what else could these with uh, Banshee around? Oh, right, it's, right. It's the one step down, right? Yeah. Getting a good look at uh, Jason's head. <laughs> I feel like the frit players sometimes forget there's a camera there. <laughs> You know, uh, I, I usually wear uh, baseball caps yeah. with, with beaks, and uh, it was it was made abundantly clear to me on the, on the first couple of reviews that I do what Jay does, and where I, I sometimes lean over the map, and the beak just covered way more of the map than I was comfortable yeah. with. Yeah. So I, I don't typically wear the hats backwards, yeah. but when I'm wearing audio equipment or radio things or, or being filmed, I just reverse it because I like the comfort of wearing the hat, yeah. but I, I don't need the beak to be in the way. Yeah. And it gets in the way. So, close combat attack. It's Brainiac. <clears throat> oh no. No. Wait, what? Is he just going to call out Alfred and Alfred's going to heal him eventually? Is that what the, that does? I'm not sure. I feel like that's what Alfred's going to do. That was, uh, sorry, I didn't see that. What is it? Propcon. Miss Propcon. Okay. It's going to be bad. Jason visibly upset. I can hear his sigh from here. Turn on 20. Yeah. So, g making good use out of the PD ability? Yeah. Seven uh, should not be enough. I think that's a miss by one. Because of the PDA, I think it was a natural 20. Yeah. He's brought down to an 18. And they used a ring for that. One again. So how do you think he came up with this team that he just look at the Brainiac dial before coming here and was like, yep, I'm going to do that. I, I could go all philosophical and <laughs> suggest that there were numerous ways. But I like Occam's Razor yep. in this situation. Was that someone looked at Brainiac and saw 200 points and said, hey, you know what would go great with that? This 100 points that I have on my shelf that I've never used. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe, maybe they did. I, I know a lot of people who were really, really happy that they got the back end yeah. and, and, and use it on occasion. Did you ever use yours? Uh, no. Uh, I kept it on my shelf until it got dusty and gave it to another player. You know, <laughs> uh, speaking of not uh, opening colossals that you, you earned and slash one, yeah. uh, I'm tempted to use my Necrons, my 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 uh, my two remaining after I traded some away, yeah. uh, as action tokens. Yeah. The Black Lantern Necrons. Yeah. That uh, and for the pushing, I would put the Necron on nice. the power battery. Yeah. <laughs> as my action tokens for a team someday. So that was a. Uh, Going to be rolling his super senses. Oh, I believe he gets it. And oh, Ooh. so three on threes, not too bad for concerning what could have just happened there. That could have been like nine damage. 
Uh, yeah, more than 12. It could have been 12 damage. So, yeah, I think what I try to do is try to separate myself as most as possible. Unfortunately, the Brainiac ship just has such a great range, and it's got, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's got like three, it's got three targets, doesn't it? No, just the one? Uh, the dial attack mode or travel mode? Travel mode. We're on travel mode, so three range. In attack mode nine, yeah. Typical dials. Uh, leadership. Nope, didn't get it. Just for reference, we got about 25 minutes left in the match. Huh. Well. Jace continuing continue to use the, uh, the PD ability to, to his benefit, I believe. Dude. Okay, he's giving me a ring to Rock Raccoon. Okay. Plus one range. <sighs> OJ, rookie mistake. Don't leave it on the ones. That's that. There, no good will come from that. So superstitious. Yeah. It's consuming superstitious. Survivors. It's consuming one of the rings. Uh, I forget which one that one. The one with the little black ball. So he needs a 12 plus 16, he needs a 4. Five damage. 5 damage. Takes 5. And a very, very warranted sigh of relief from Jason. I also had that sub. So that's five. Uh, what uh, what yeah, number? Click ten. Click Brain. ten for uh, Brainiac. Hey Steven, which mode is he on? Which mode? He gets the switch. He gets the switch. Okay. So uh, of the two dials, the one A, which should be the <laughs> travel. Travel. He would be on. 11 sidestep, 9 attack, 19 in vulnerability, and 2 damage with yeah. no powers on the slots I didn't list. Yeah. And then the attack mode would be 8 charge, 11 attack, 17 doubles, 4 damage. Not including all the stuff with the, uh, the, 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 the bats yeah. area. Yeah. So uh, Jason just took the rings back off and put them on, on the power plants. Uh, the only one that's still out there looks like the Electro Blast ring, which is on Rocket, I think. <laughs> Make sure things are still progressing. So Sharif is thinking pretty hard. We're getting a lot of people watching this game just because it's just no one's ever seen anything like this. No, no, it's not a Legion of Doom. It is a Brainiac ship that it has. Even girlfriends around but not playing. Bat cave. Gave me a quick smile when she looked over the map. She's like, that looks cool. What? Can you give me a sign of the Bat Cave? Yes, the Brainiac, Brainiac ship has been I assigned to the Bat Cave. I should clarify, not my girlfriend. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Guys. Thank you. So both players are thinking pretty hard, obviously, because this is kind of unknown territory. Okay. Nope. Yep. Leadership. <laughs> Jason says, I actually didn't want that. <laughs> I, 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 I feel that that may be a lie. <laughs> Wait, what? Is that a lie? Is that a lie? Yeah. Yeah. Disintegration beam. On to Cerise. So going to try to shoot to get rid of the resource again. It's it's a lucky shot. You really need it's like a one out of four shot. 
It's choosing Empower. Attack with the two BDs. Do we know if Jay still has any theme teams? I can't tell. He got it. He got a crit hit with the Disintegration Beam. The resource has just been destroyed. You're going to have to ask your judge that's sitting right next to you. Hey, here's an interesting suggestion. Judge! <laughs> judge. I'm, I'm not the judge. I'm Eric. Eric. <laughs> Sorry guys, uh, we're, we're, obviously the Disintegrated Fiend is going to have an effect. Uh, we're just calling over uh, another judge to, to if, if uh, Judge Steve, who is on our table, wants to have a second opinion going on because uh, that's a lot of that's a lot of going on. And uh, judging from that motion, I believe <laughs> that the stately way man here is less stately than it was before. So that's... I know. See, it's faces like Amber's where I, I miss that we don't have the video to show you because she, she's got this face. This face. Bye-bye cave indeed. Only because I have jerky in my mouth and I can't make noises. <laughs> Apparently not in Gotham uh, state lines anymore. So that hurts. That hurts Sharif a lot. That's 100 points gone. That's uh, just like all sorts of support gone. Oh, no. Yeah, that's... Uh, that, hurts. that that was a hail mary that uh, paid off. Yeah, good good on Jay for the for the attempt. But you know, that's the game, man. You never know. That's true. That is true. Of all the times you want to crit hit, hit, that's probably the best. A quick apology, guys. I'm gonna have to refresh my uh, Twitch uh, tab, so uh, I will lose your your chat if there were any questions and or comments that that you were hoping that I was gonna respond to. Eleven on eighteen, seven. That hits. Three plus one it takes four. Yeah. <laughs> that is, uh, oh, it's over! Oh, 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 oh. Uh, a, a rightful deserve crowd applause to Jay oh, for that. Saying. That was that was really great. So uh, I, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have the players come speak. Yeah, they, they, they're like, oh, uh, oh. We're gonna we're gonna let Jay bask in the globe momentarily, and we're, we're gonna have uh, Sharif come comes come say a quick hi. This uh, I wasn't sure what to expect of this game, but uh, it's gonna be cool. I honestly, so uh, if you're gonna ask me what I think about this game, I honestly don't know how any other match is gonna live up to that one. <laughs> We'll find you something. <laughs> the judge says we'll find us something. Right next to it, there's a zombie base playing against a zombie base. Oh, wow. The rings that I eat from the power from the power plant is Just a quick question for the judge. About this yeah, just uh, the, the point cost where uh, judges are asking about the, uh, the destroyed and sacrificed rings. Just, just to make sure. No problem. It was an awesome That was insane. That was nuts. I'm like, okay, the Blue Room please teleport beside you. That's just, that's really cool. I feel really bad for Sharif. All, all the things, but all the emotions. Wow. <laughs> Pretty good game. So it's only specifically on the critical hit that it destroys everything. Well, it's a 10 or higher. Oh, okay. 10 or higher, yeah. And the fact that I roll a critical hit is definitely higher than this 10. That's what I need the Habs to do to the sense. Critical hit? I thought with the Hurt uh, Trophy winner, all you needed was just to play your game. I thought we were the ones who required the critical hit. No, no. Uh, we need a critical hit. So here we go. Sharif. <laughs> <laughs> so first, <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you. <laughs> number two, we already had questions about the, the construction. Yeah. And my theory was that there are a lot of ways that you can get to the team that you brought. But mine was, hey, it's 200 points. I have this other 100-point thing to go with it. I'm going to do that. Is it, Was that the thinking? Kind of, yes and no. It was more along the lines of, we were discussing Brainiac, the super ship, last night. Yep. And I'm like, and I was thinking to myself, I'm like, 
200 points. Okay. I bought the back cable a while ago. I've been wanting to use it okay. ever since I got it. So, I'm like, and I've been trying to make lists that incorporated the back cable. And I'm like, well, how do I make a list that incorporates the back cable still effective? And then I was thinking about it. And then we started discussing the Brainiac ship. And I'm like, does the Brainiac ship, can it be assigned? Is it a character? And they're like, yeah. I'm like, so that means it can be assigned the back cable. They're like, yeah. So I'm like, okay, back cape, utility belt, plus stats, uh, can't use certain abilities, I can use other abilities. It all sort of it, works it just, together. It just kind of works together. <laughs> so obviously, I'm, I'm going to guess that this is the first time you played the ship? Yes. And uh, what did you think? It was, was a lot was of fun. It, it, learn, learning on the fly? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, the ship's actually a lot, very, very powerful. Well, it was visually awesome. Yeah. I will say that. The, the biggest issue that I had in that match was uh, he was using smoke every turn. Yeah. So I couldn't use my running shot, which was very hindering for my attack. So I was forced to try to lure him out. He is in, get into close combat like you guys saw, and uh, hope for the best there. That was really my only option because he was going to just smoke every turn. That's true. Leave. Well, the game was entertaining as all get out. Thank you. So, best of luck for the rest of the day. Thank we'll you. We'll talk to you later, man. Thanks, Jim. Jay! Jay, come on! <laughs> Jay! I'm not even gonna give me a hug! I did it! <laughs> I'm not even gonna pretend to dislike him this time! <laughs> oh my god! Jay, what did you do? Uh, everything I could! I dug so deep in that What did game. you do? Oh my god. I took, it took every single trick that my team had in order to even make that a war. Uh, and map choice, of course, is one of the biggest things that my team uh, can really benefit from. Um, I knew the, the I played it. Uh, Proxy rounds with the Brainiac Shadow Four, and I know that this map is still strong, even though he can occupy multiple terrains or elevated terrain. So I had to make sure I was in a tight enough position to maximize all the possible things that I could do to it, while like keep him tight, still make some range attacks, use the PD team ability. Uh, yeah, it was. <laughs> you know what I mean? I need to uh, uh, Kermit the Frog uh, Motocon for the for the, arms. <laughs> for the weekly arms. Kermit the Frog here with six weeks new news. Oh man! This is was a qualifier round. Uh, this is round one. <laughs> this is only this is round one of the second of the last construction qualifier. <laughs> My heart can't handle this. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Oh, this is such a story for the channel. This is great, and uh, it's going to be all recorded all over the place. Uh, so, obviously, Jay, um, uh, after getting through the excitement of the win, so the first thought was, and you went through it, was the, the, the map gave you options. Yep. You were using all the abilities that your team had ability. It was PD, PD, trying, burning the ring, got to give myself the opportunity, got to give myself the opportunity. Here's yeah. how it can be done. I identified it, which is great. Jackie, by the way. Uh, it feels weird to compliment you, but I, 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 it's, I understand. It's, it's getting a little weird. It, it, nobody compliments me on my YouTube channel. This is this this feels so great right now. So <laughs> I'm gonna live this high forever. Well, there you go. Uh, and, and yeah, this this was a game that we had the crowd uh, gra gathering around. Yeah, because I, it was neat. <laughs> I've never had so many people cheer for a game of Hero Clicks I've played in my life. <laughs> I, I, I had a couple times. Uh, I, uh, I've been to Monsters Den, uh, Minnesota, to play the older regionals. Yeah. Where there were 60 people who stuck around for the finals. Oh wow. And, and they they were, it was pretty impressive the first time I did. But uh, yeah, so the game was awesome. Uh, obviously, your team can, is it's four and zero now, right? From the from the two events. Uh, from the two events, well, it's right now my team is sitting at a three and one. And I've lost one game in the first event. Is that what you're talking about? Or in the? Oh no, the like for today. For today, yeah, it's it's three and one. Three and one. Oh, you yeah. went two and one in the first one. I went two and one in the first one. The, the, yeah. Right. Okay. Got got got. Excellent. Uh, so. It, is there any more thoughts? Do you, do you have the, Are you I, capable of the I, thoughts? I used all of my thoughts. All the thoughts. That I had in, in that game. Well, all the emotions, all the well wishes. Uh, high five, man. High five. That, thank that, you very that, much, is, that is deserved. <laughs> I wish you all the best of luck. And Sharif, thank you so much for bringing a fun team for us to see. A fun and competitive and challenging team. First time, and like out of the box. Like, I, you know, I'm sharing a hotel room with Sharif too, so uh, I'm giving him a hug tonight for that game. And we're having beers. Um, yeah, it's and a, I'm done. There, there's an after party at Low Star tonight. Absolutely. Excellent. Uh, so we will talk to Jay later. And uh, we're going to be back with round two. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Vince. Bye, guys.